The springtime is here and people want to get out and travel after more than a year now of, of being locked down. The most important things to think about to keep safe while traveling is whenever you're with crowds of, of people, we're gonna continue to have some risk while COVID continues to, to circulate. So maintaining a lot of the same precautions um, uh, even as you consider traveling are gonna be super important. That is the physical distancing and masking especially. And then of course, um, a lot of the hand hygiene, environmental hygiene, and then making sure that if you're sick, you get, you get tested. Getting vaccinated, of course, if you meet the criteria is also a key and critical thing you can do to decrease your risk. But you can't decrease the risk to zero. Right now, if you're choosing to travel, vaccination definitely decreases your personal risk of getting certainly severe disease, and it, to some extent, depending on the variants, it decreases your risk of getting symptomatic disease, so mild to moderate diseases for COVID. The most safe ways if you choose to travel would be those modes of transportation that keep your bubble as far apart from crowds of people as possible. So individual cars with families is a safer way to travel than let's say a crowded bus um, or an airplane that has more people closer connected. The airflow matters a lot um, and multiple studies have shown this. And so the more that there's an airflow um, going in the areas that you're in, uh, the safer you are. Airplanes generally have HEPA filtered air, but you're still sort of battling the closeness that you have together with that airflow. The last travel tip that we um, probably can give is that depending on where you're going, try to understand the rates and the risks in the places that you go. Certain states like Texas have really relaxed a lot of their um, public health guidance. And so, um, especially if you have risk factors or the people you're traveling with or the people you'll be going home to have risk factors, you may want to consider that in regards to what your risk is working and traveling wherever it is that, you know, if you choose to travel there.